Joe Fornball here for Odd Shark, where week four of the NFL season, week five of the college football season set to get underway. So let's begin with the big story, which in the eyes of many is Hurricane Ian making its way up the Eastern seaboard. We wanna start by saying those of us here at Odd Shark, our thoughts are with all of you who have been affected by this storm. We in no way, shape or form mean to make light of the situation, but we do discuss and handicap games for a living and we'd be remiss if we didn't discuss the impact the weather will have in some of our games this weekend. So again, our thoughts are with all of you. We are hoping for the best. This weekend, when it comes to the NFL and college football, you are going to need to pay attention to the weather reports very closely. Rain could have an impact in several games in the National Football League, Eagles, Jaguars, Panthers, Cardinals, Giants, Bears, and the Bills game as Buffalo is gonna to travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Similar in college football. So check the reports for your daily fantasy, your season long fantasy, your totals bets, all that stuff. It is going to be important this weekend, which leads us into one of those games. It's the big game of the weekend. And it's the Baltimore Ravens catching three points at home against the Buffalo Bills. I'm gonna play Baltimore in this spot. I'm holding out hope for three and a half, but I will play the three because of three key reasons. Number one, the weather, as previously mentioned, total open 53 and a half, it's down to 51. A lower scoring game, in my opinion, favors the Ravens. Number two, Baltimore outstanding at running the football with Lamar Jackson at quarterback. That is how they control tempo. That is how they keep Josh Allen on the sidelines. That is how they play at their best. And number three, Given all the injuries to the Buffalo defense, I think there's an opportunity where Baltimore's offense will be able to get going, will dominate the time of possession, and will keep this game close. So the Baltimore Ravens plus three in our big game pick of the week. Trap games. The games you need to keep an eye on this weekend that could be potential disasters. We told you last week to watch out for the Colts. Sure enough, they didn't just cover, they won outright. This week, keep an eye on a few. Number one, the Chargers. We're laying seven in Houston against the Texans. It's down to five. Two reasons to keep an eye on this. Number one, all the injuries to the Chargers. Joey Bosa out, Rajon Slater, offensive tackle out, Justin Herbert playing hurt. Number two, Davis Mills, quarterback of the Texans. His home road splits. Look him up, he performs much better at home than he does on the road. And we saw that last week in the matchup against Chicago where he was absolutely dreadful. That's game number one. Number two, Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> Philadelphia open minus seven as they host Doug Peterson in the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is down to six and a half. Some sharp money coming in on the Jags early. Peterson knows this team well. Could be the best game of the weekend. That Jacksonville team still underrated in my opinion. They can score, they can play some defense. Also, keep your eyes on the Packers who were laying 10 against New England, down to nine and a half at most markets. I would play New England if you could find the 10. I would play New England. I know it's gross. You're gonna have to hold your nose on this one, but hear me out. There is one big tactical advantage the Patriots have in this game. Their offense, in terms of rushing, number one in Football Outsiders DVOA rush offense metric. Where does Green Bay rank in that category on the defensive side? Dead last. New England's able to run the ball early, often, and with consistency. They can keep Aaron Rodgers on the sidelines. They're gonna have a shot. And remember, the total in this game is like 41 points. I'm getting 10 in an NFL game with a total of 41. Sign me up, I will play the Patriots. That leads us into chase mode, how to play the Sunday night matchup. Thank you so much, Jimmy Garoppolo, for what you did last week against the Denver Broncos, but it's time to move on. We missed last week. This week, we're gonna go back to the well. We're gonna play the favorite, the Kansas City Chiefs laying the one at Tampa Bay. I think we're getting a good price here with the Chiefs because if they had won against the Colts last week, and they should have, at three and oh, we're probably laying two, two and a half in this spot. All right, you look at that game, it was a special teams disaster for Kansas City. Missed a field goal, missed an extra point, fumbled a punt on the first possession of that game. After they stopped the Colts, fumbled a punt and immediately let Indianapolis go into the end zone. It set the tempo for the day. Kick return was terrible as well. I don't think the Chiefs special teams can be that bad yet again. Harrison Butker, who has been hurt, one of the best kickers in the league, he's been practicing this week. He could be back. I like Kansas City against the Tampa Bay team that on offense, very banged up and has been struggling early in the season. So if we're playing that game late, we're not gonna chase our money. We're gonna be smart with our bankroll management. I would play the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, that's what I like, all right? And there's still more of what I like coming, but it's time to discuss what you like. The people's parlay. For the first time ever, it's something we're instituting here on this broadcast. We turn it over to you guys. Every week, early in the week, you gotta follow us on Twitter, at OddShark, we send out a tweet, we ask you for your best picks for the weekend, the ones that get the most likes, end up in the people's parlay. And if you win it, we're gonna send you a bunch of cool swag. So here's what we got for this week. At Truthseeka, 
truth seeker. He gave us Baylor, minus two and a half over Oklahoma State. Chill Rob G. These names are fantastic, by the way. Gave us UTSA, Middle Tennessee State, over 63 points. Adrian Jr., 17, goes to the NFL. He gave us the Raiders, minus two and a half over the Broncos. And then Steve underscore Wiles, 88. He gave us Texas Tech on the money line, plus 255 at Kansas State. Thanks for bulking that up. Drum roll, please. Grand payout, plus 2318 meaning a $100 wager would return $2,318 in profit. Best of luck to you all. Look for us next week to submit your picks so you can have an opportunity to get into the people's parlay. Daily Fantasy. What's the value play you can look for this week? Last week, we recommended Cordero Patterson, Atlanta Falcons, running back at Seattle. He racked up over 130 rushing yards, had a big game at a great price. So this week, we're gonna do something similar. We're gonna attack the Seattle defense again. We're gonna recommend Jamal Williams, Detroit Lions running back, who's currently priced at $6,600 on DraftKings. That makes him the 10th most expensive. I think he will perform better than that. DeAndre Swift, the starting running back, banged up, not expected to play this weekend. Seattle has struggled to defend opposing running backs, okay? In the passing game, in the rushing game, case in point, what we saw from Patterson last week. Williams had a big workload against Minnesota last week when Swift got hurt. 22 touches for 107 total yards. I think he's up for the challenge here to do that again. He'll be a bigger factor in the passing attack, in my opinion, and I like him to find pay dirt. So Jamal Williams at $6,600 on DraftKings will be your daily fantasy play of the week. Let's transition to college football and begin with the college football play of the week. Lots of huge games, so we're gonna go to the biggest one of them all. San Jose State laying three over Wyoming. I know it's a bit obscure, but this game's gonna come down to the Spartan passing attack against the Cowboy pass defense, which isn't very good. San Jose State can throw the football. Wyoming has struggled to defend the pass all year. They rank 100th in the country in pass defense. They're a very poor tackling team. They give up a lot of big plays. And last week against BYU, they got absolutely shredded. Disregard the final score, Wyoming tacked on a couple touchdowns in the fourth quarter when BYU had checked out. That game was much worse than it looked. Top play of the week in college football, San Jose State minus three at Wyoming. So let's do a little college football rapid fire now with some other picks I like. Michigan State plus eight and a half at Maryland. Michigan State should be able to run the football. Great by low spot. Couldn't run against Washington and lost. Couldn't run against Minnesota and lost. They'll be able to run here against a banged up Maryland offense that's gonna have some problems scoring. We will take the eight and a half at the Spartans. Texas State plus 22 against James Madison. Madison off a huge comeback win over App State. I think they're a little sleepy here. Weather could be a concern. I like 22 in my pocket, especially against a James Madison team that loves to run the football and grind the clock. Utah minus 10 over Oregon State. Beavers had USC on the ropes. Absolute heartbreak, impossible turnaround spot to go to altitude and play Utah. I think the Utes put it on and might play them in the first half as well. LSU minus nine over Auburn. Auburn is terrible. Head coach Brian Harson is likely on his way out at the end of the season. They got injuries at the quarterback position. I like LSU to roll there. And then finally, Arkansas plus 17 and a half against Alabama. For a little. Anytime you're fading Alabama, in my opinion, it's generally for a little. Arkansas. They can play under Sam Pittman. They've covered a lot of spreads. They're off that loss last week against AM, so a good buy low spot, in my opinion. Alabama explosive, but not as explosive as we saw last year at the wide receiver position. I think that gives the Razorbacks a chance. That's it for us this week. Thank you so much for tuning in. Odd Shark is the place to go to get a bunch of resources to get you set for the weekend, including our odds calculator, parlay calculator, all that good stuff to make sure you're pricing things correctly.